It's already been an exciting offseason for pro, for pro football. Let's try that again with Peyton Manning. Now going to the Broncos and Tim Tebow, as you know, is heading here to the Jets. The drama continues tomorrow night at the NFL Draft. Here with a preview, Super Agent Tom Condon. He's co-head of the football division of CAA, Creative Artists Agency. And one of his clients happens to be Peyton Manning, also Eli Manning, yes. and also Drew, Drew Brees. Brees. I mean, you have the quarterbacks there in the firm. We, we've been fortunate. We've got some great quarterbacks and, and, and great guys, too. Who do you expect uh, will happen in the draft? Where will uh, Griffiths go? Where will uh, Andrew go? Uh, well, I think Andrew is, uh, is going already to going the, to, the, to the Colts right. and, and certainly Robert to, to the Redskins, right. and, and we're very excited about that. He's a, uh, uh, he's a brilliant player, um, a wonderful guy, uh, an, an explosive athlete, so I think he'll be great for the Redskins. I, li I like what you said, Tom, when, you, when Charlie named the three of your top clients, of your clients, and you said, yeah, good guys, too. Good guys. What do you look for when recruiting? When in a client? Uh, well, especially in the quarterback, uh, character, intelligence, and, and accuracy. And, um, and, and that seems to be the hallmark of all, all the great players, mm -hmm. uh, certainly at that position. Yeah, and, um, yeah but the character question, can I just talk about Antonio Cromartie for just a second? Okay. Uh, the football player who has uh, 12 kids, he's about to have twins, Charlie, with a wife, with seven different women. And I'm just thinking, isn't there a character chip missing there, and what can we do about that? I, I wanted to talk to a super agent about that. What yeah. can we do? Well, certainly the... Uh, 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 He's clearly not one of your guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, w w we talk to our clients regularly about their off-the-field conduct and how that's that going to affect not only the kind of money that they make on the field, but what they're able to do uh, off the field and when their career is over. Mm -hmm. And um, and so, w you know, we've been very fortunate. I mean, we go out and look for people that are going to have great character, yeah. uh, great intelligence, besides being, you know, very fine athletes, mm -hmm. with the idea being that those players are going to have opportunities that maybe some others will not. When you look at what happened to Carolina last year, I mean, it is now proven that a quarterback can come right out of college and have an instant impact. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, the, the NFL, uh, they do a fantastic job. And, uh, and the rules are such that the passing game is now obviously the most important part of the game. And so, uh, and so the quarterback can make a significant difference. If you look at the rest of the roster and the supporting cast, they're going to be very close in terms of talent. And so the, the, the player that's, uh, that, that's going to change the outcome of the game is the quarterback. What makes a great quarterback? Yeah. Uh, well, um, certainly, you know, as, we, as I've mentioned before, I think character, and that encompasses, uh, 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 you know, work ethic, uh, leadership, loyalty, toughness, uh, all of that. Uh, intelligence is certainly a, mm -hmm. a big part of it. You can't play the position anymore as, uh, as sophisticated as the NFL defenses are uh, without being a very bright guy. Let's it, talk about Robert Griffin III, known as RG3. Number mm -hmm. one, I love that nickname. Where do you think he's going? What do you think well, is going to happen? Well, you know, m um, my partner Ben Dagra um, is the lead agent on, on Robert, and, uh, and he recruited him, and he's done a, a wonderful job with him, and, uh, and, and I believe he'll be with the Washington Redskins. Yeah. And, uh, and, and it's a great place for him. I mean, it's a uh, you know, wonderful city. City, he'll be the uh, he'll be the second most important guy in Washington D.C. Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Uh, good, That's good, Tom. Peyton, Peyton. Peyton. Yes. how is he? Do, how is he physically? Is he ready to go? Uh, can he perform at the level he did before he was injured? You know, um, uh, Peyton is terrific. I mean, his his rehabilitation has been spectacular from the standpoint of. Uh, the, the effort and the detail and the, and the research that he's put into all of this and, and the lengths that he's willing to go um, uh, to get back and, and, and be Peyton Manning again. And so, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because I, we have his, his ex-coaches mm -hmm. um, come and evaluate him and people that know him well, um, his father, his college coach, his uh, Indianapolis Colts coach, and they all say the same thing, that he looks it's, terrific. It's going to be a great season. Thank you so much, yeah. Tom. You, Tom. Pleasure to have you Charlie, here. Gail, thank you.